So, the build is complete. Stay tuned and I'm gonna show you clips of me doing this project and how it came about. strong as regular glue so that uh, I can break it off easily. There we go. So here it is. It's on its back right now. I have it in clamps. The clamps are holding it. I'm gluing these joints up right there. So the mirror is gonna sit on top of there like that. And then the other two is gonna come off this way in that way, but this is the middle one. So that's what I'm working on. I'm enjoying my Saturday morning. So right now I have them clamped up. I'm using a strap to bring it closer in from up the bottom. I say from up the bottom, from down, from vertically. I'm bringing it closer and then this one is clamping the bottom. The top kind of does not need it because everything is flush and good. So there you go from the back. That's the back view. This is the front view. All the angles are crisp and clean. Minus, you know, little sanding, like that stuff like that doesn't matter. But this one here, I have panel. This is the middle panel. This is the side panel. I have one more side panel to attach using the dominoes. Let me show y'all what I just did. To give the mirror a little more thickness to it, as well as give it more stability, I added a four inch, uh, I guess, thickness stuff on the side. So it gives it that more thicker look, so I got it here. And then as you come around the back, I'm doing it across the bottom. And then it comes around, and it goes up again. And then I'm gonna do it across the top too. Uh, this way, it's going to give it more stability let me show you all this part at the bottom this angle that I had to do small angles and stuff back there so it's still straight and will sit up against the wall and everything so we have the wall done everything I'm making it thicker right here to give it a little more thickness to it so bam and then that's there and then here is the platform that it's gonna stand on. And then I am putting something like that on it. Now we got Grant coming to assist. 
Yeah, you helping daddy? You helping daddy? And then there we go. So, you can see, I have the top that's already done on there. I just need to, I need to finish this part. I actually ran out of time. So, I need to get about three more pieces to be able to finish. Make sure you can see that. So it's gonna kind of like this. I gotta cut the edge off. But it's gonna look like this for the most part along the whole, along the edges. I uh, just got finished using my flush trim bit router and all that stuff to route the edges to make sure everything is smooth and even. So, looking good. Looking good. So as you see, the top half is the primer, and I started painting. But I forgot, I stopped just to give y'all an update on what's going on. I painted the top half, the primer, and this right here is the, the raisin color that I'm using. The sun is pretty bright right now, so you probably, probably can't tell. But I'm starting from the bottom, working my way on up. And you can see yourself, all the angles. Mmm, that's how you're gonna do it? When you're getting your suit made? That's the, what? You bringing it down? That's what I'm talking about. So, that's what it is. You got the hardwood floors, the raisin color back. Can't get any better. Magic. Thank you, baby. <laughs> the tour of the back you see I got the base on there so I, I can drill straight down to hold it then you see I got the mark the builder logo so you know this is an official this is an official mark the builders project so it's there the floor looks amazing with the gray, how it comes up. Yeah. Frank, you're gonna be happy, bro. I'm excited I did this one for you. Man, this, the angles are so perfect. Like, you can see the feet and everything. So while you're getting your suit done, you're able to see. And as you see with me, mark the builder. So let's see, the mirror is complete. Has the platform where you step on it. The mirrors are right there. So when you come in, you like, bam. Well, I'm, look, you can tell I ain't working. I ain't got no shoes on. I'm just in the shop right now. But I brought out the, the DeWalt laser to make sure that it is level and everything is perfect. This thing came out really good. So. And then bam. So we got all the custom suits. <laughs> Man, I see you, Frank. It was really good. 